Hey everyone, it's Ed Graney, Mark Anderson, Gilbert Manzano here for the Review Journal at the introductory press conference for new athletic director Desiree Reed Francois. She now runs UNLV Athletics, introduced today here by President Lynn Jessup. Her entire family was here, her husband, her son, her boss at Virginia Tech, now her ex-boss, Whit Babcock. He flew in. That tells you a lot about this person, that he would make that trip. Mark, uh, you covered the lead for us here. Your first impressions of uh, Desiree? Well, she's, she's sharp. I mean, the resume is hard to argue against the resume and the fact that she's got so many endorsements. And as, as you mentioned, her boss being here, I don't ever remember that. You know, it's one thing to send out a written statement, you know, endorsing her, but to actually be here tells me an awful lot. She didn't provide a lot of specific answers today, but no one really expected her to. And she's, and she's frankly still feeling her way. She really is trying to figure it out herself. So, you know, it would it'd be wrong for her to, come, you know, to offer a lot of specifics. So she handled this really well. Yeah, I thought she really did. She has a presence about her. I think behind that smile, bit of a bulldog. I, I think if I'm working for this athletic department right now, uh, I check I check myself at the door and, 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 and produce results. I do think she's going to come in and really look at the entire landscape, as she should, with a clean slate and make determinations and evaluations on people because this athletic department has a long way to go to get better. It's interesting she said the same thing to both of us in separate interviews about they keep scored for a reason, to win. And so it's clear that, yes, yeah, she understands that, you know, particularly in case of football and men's basketball, there's some rebuilding to do. But I don't think she wants to use that as an excuse. She wants to see progress. And I think not only those coaches, but all the coaches on campus are on notice right now. Gilbert Manzano is also here with us. You have a terrific story off this press conference tomorrow about her brother. Tell us about that. Yeah, I spoke to uh, Desiree's brother, uh, Roman Reed. Very close tight bond between Desiree and Roman and some, he shared some really good stories about them growing up. Uh, Roman was paralyzed, you know, playing football at the JC level and actually a connection, Tony Sanchez, they played the same time, I guess, in North California when they were, uh, the, I guess they were kind of rival JC school, I'm forgetting the names right now, but it's a connection there. He told me he was going for his 25th tackle in the game, he's a linebacker and, you know, that, you know, he was paralyzed from the, from, from the waist down. And he just told me how, how much his sister was there for him during that time. I think he mentioned something about uh, when she was working at Tennessee, you know, being the only female person in the front office there for uh, University of Tennessee and how hard it was for her at first. But, you know, I think uh, Mark said uh, she's a, a bulldog, got everybody's respect at Tennessee. And you saw it in Cincinnati, you saw it in Virginia Tech, and, you know, a very uh, hardworking person. So there you have it out here at the introductory uh, press conference for Desiree Reed Francois. ReviewJournal.com will have all the coverage tomorrow. Mark has the lead. I'll be writing a column on her ability to fundraise. That's number one, two, and three probably of importance of what she needs to do to get, get this athletic department back. Gilbert's got a wonderful story on her brother. He'll also have coach reaction. Read everything tomorrow and right now at ReviewJournal.com.